So I get a ton of grooming related questions and so I figured that it was probably in both of our best interest if I started a new series of videos called Ask Alpha the Grooming Edition so you can ask me and not your Uncle Barry. I want you to think of me as your guy, right? Everybody needs a guy, somebody that they can come to with the hard-hitting questions. Ones that you can't go to your friends, or you could, but it would probably not be wise because your friends would be like, what? Why are you asking me this? It could be awkward. And like we said, your Uncle Barry, <laughs> although he is hairy, he is definitely not one to divulge his manscaping routine. I, on the other hand, am absolutely comfortable. And so, this new series, all right, this new series of grooming videos is for you to ask your questions. It doesn't matter how big, how small, if you've got it, chances are somebody else does as well. If you've got a question that's been burning or itching, <laughs> as it would be, uh, and you don't know where to turn, I'm your guy. Send an email to askalpha at imalpham.com, subject grooming. And if you're lucky, your question may just make the cut. And today we're kicking the series off with two great questions. Question number one comes to me from a bunch of people. Guys with rounder faces and they want to know what they can do to slim down or reduce the roundness of their face. Essentially, they think they've got a fat face and they want to know how to change it. Okay, so you have a fat face and you want to make it look more chiseled. Alright, so here's the deal. First thing we need to address are genetics. We all have genetics that are going to predispose some of us to have a rounder, more full face. But that being said, a lot of guys that I talk to that are concerned about having chubby cheeks are carrying a little extra body fat in other places as well. The first tip I would give you if you're concerned about the roundness or fullness of your face is take a look at your diet, your exercise plan. I know this sounds like a cop out, but it's absolutely true. If you have have a fat face or chubby cheeks, what you can do a lot of times is reduce your body fat. A good diet, cardio, what's going to happen? You're going to reduce your body fat everywhere. Well, your face is included in everywhere and it's actually going to slim down. A lot of times I'll see somebody who lost a bunch of weight and where do you see it first or you notice it first? In their face. You're like, my God, you look great. What happened? You get a new haircut? They're like, no, I lost 100 pounds. Thanks for noticing, jackass. You're so cute. I want to pinch those chubby little... You tired of that? Yeah. Yeah, I get it, right? Well, there's some things that you can do to give the visual illusion of having a thinner, more chiseled jaw. All right, there are three things that you can focus on. First being your hairstyle. All right, so if you've got a round face and you have a round hairstyle, this is actually making your face appear rounder. What I would recommend is taper it on the side, give it a little lift. This is going to give the visual illusion of you having a more elongated face. Now, there's a video that I did talking all about hairstyle and face shape. There's a link down in the description. I'm getting fast. <laughs> there are two other things that you can do. One is your sideburns, okay? By elongating your sideburns, having them go down your face, you're actually going to give the illusion of you having a longer more structured, streamlined face as well. There's also a video, surprise, surprise, about sideburns and face shape down in the description along with the last item that you may want to consider and that is facial hair. By giving yourself some strategically placed facial hair, you can give the illusion that you do have a thinner face. Once again, there's a video, it's listed below. Facial hair is amazing in what it can do. By you knowing how to wear and what style of facial hair to actually choose you can give the illusion that your face is actually thinner. Light stubble, maybe a goatee that's going to add a little something business down to your chin is actually going to give you a little bit more of an angular jaw. The appearance of one anyway. The next question has to do with manscaping. So I get an email from a young man who says, Alpha, I want to shave my chest hair and my stomach hair. Every time I do, with a razor, I get ingrown hairs, it itches like crazy, it drives me nuts. Is there a proper way? He then includes a selfie of himself. I would like to go on the record again and acknowledge the fact that there is no other straight dude in the world that gets more shirtless selfies of other dudes than this guy right here. Keep them coming. This is a great question and one that I personally have some experience with. Um, I learned the hard way that when you actually shave certain hairs on your body, they are more predisposed to getting ingrown and real itchy. All right, me, it's my butt cheeks and my, my pubic area. All right, if I go like super bald with a bick, I am, I am miserable a day later. All right, so here's the trick and something that I would recommend. If you still like the look of going hairless, simply use 
your clippers, all right? Facial hair grooming tool, take it as low as it will go. What's gonna happen, it's gonna give the illusion of you being essentially hairless, but it's not going to have the negative side effects of using a razor, um, because that hair isn't below the skin. When you shave with a razor, it's taking it really low. When it starts to grow back, chances are it's going to hook or pull or just not break the surface. It's gonna get itchy, irritated, all that horrible stuff. Use your clippers, take off the attachment, hit it, Scrub in the shower, you, my friend, are good to go. Gentlemen, this has been another, actually the first edition of Ask Alpha Grooming Edition. And remember, if you've got a grooming-related question, don't ask your buddies or your Uncle Stan. Ask Alpha.